Hello, my name is Megan DeGrucci, and I'm your child's food and nutrition teacher this semester. I graduated from Messiah College in 2014 with a bachelor's degree in family and consumer sciences. I then went to Wilkes University for a master's in education. I've been teaching for seven years, but this is my second year teaching at Central Dauphin East High School. In my class, we will be using Canvas as our learning module system. So I'm going to share my screen now so you can see what it looks like for your student. When you go into Canvas and your student clicks Foods and Nutrition, this is the page that they'll be brought to. In my virtual classroom, there are a couple helpful links for your student. The calendar they can click on and it'll take them to the agenda for the week. If they haven't taken attendance for the school yet, the link for the attendance sheet is right here. And then the final one on the bulletin board is the recipe card, which will take them to our class cookbook. Down below on the computer is a link for them to join the Zoom call or a link for them to email me directly. When your student goes into modules, the first module is all course information. So they can see the syllabus, they can get the Zoom link or what time our, our class meets for the day. And then they have a link to my office hours, which are every day at 940, unless they email me and set up a specific time. Down below that is the module for each week. Starting with the week that we are currently on and moving back towards the first week of school. Each module is set up in the exact same way. It'll have the weekly agenda, the essential question, resources, resources for core, and then any assignments that they have. Let's look at an example for the weekly agenda. When you click on the weekly agenda, whether it's through modules or the calendar, students will be taken to a page that looks like this. On this page, it tells you what week it is. It has my office hours and live lessons with links to those, the unit or topic we're gonna to be studying for the week and the essential question. Down below, it's broken up into a weekly schedule for group A, group B, and core. So you can see group A, we talked about lab expectations and got used to the kitchens. Tuesday, we had our first lab. Then on Wednesday, they watched a video and completed an ed puzzle. And then Thursday, read through this presentation or joined me for the live lesson and then completed this assignment. And Friday, we did a Zoom call. Group B is pretty much opposite of group A, doing what they did at home first and then what we did in class second and the Zoom call. For core kids, everything is virtual. So they had a video lesson and the ed puzzle they had an additional flip grid. And then for labs, they can either cook at home if you have um, the ingredients or they always have an alternate assignment to do if they don't want to cook or don't have the supplies to cook. And then again, joining the Friday Zoom call. So students can easily see what they need to do with all of the links here. Um, when they are on their home page, they should also have a to-do list over in the corner so that they can see what they need to do for that week. My expectations are that they do complete their online work at home. When they're in class, hopefully we will be able to cook uh, every week. If for some reason your student is not completing work at home, we'll have to focus on that work here and they might miss out on a lab. So it's very important that your students do complete work at home when they are on their virtual days. All of the grades will be on hack for your students to see if anyone has any questions or concerns. They can just shoot me an email or join me during my office hours. Hopefully this answers any questions that you have about foods and nutrition. Um, like I said, my name is Megan DeGrucci. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mdegrucci at cdschools.org or you can have your student go on to Canvas and click the little email button and it'll take you directly to an email. I look forward to working with your students this semester and getting to know them and helping them to be successful in the kitchen.